Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to install SharePoint Server 2010. First let us know why we need SharePoint. In simple terms, SharePoint provides options for creating websites. Where many users' accounts can be created with required permission levels. As a result they can create communities and share ideas. Manage documents. Search people and still more. Before stepping into the training session, let us make sure whether our environment supports installing SharePoint Server 2010. Hardware requirements include processor and RAM types. The required processor type is 64 bit. RAM specification includes 4 GB for developing or evaluation, 8 GB for production use in a single server or multiple server farm. Software requirements include operating system and database server specifications. The operating system required are 64 bit versions of Windows Server 2008 with Service Pack 2, Windows Server 2008 R2. The database server required are 64 bit versions of Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2, Microsoft SQL Server 2008 with Service Pack 1 and Cumulative Update 2. In this training session, I will show you how to install SharePoint Server 2010 in Windows Server 2008 R2 with Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 as the database server. The SharePoint Server 2010 installation includes three stages. They are installing prerequisite softwares, installing the SharePoint setup, applying the configuration to the SharePoint server. The prerequisite softwares to be installed are you can install the prerequisite softwares using the prerequisite installer tool present in the SharePoint Server 2010 installation CD, or if you have copied the CD contents to your network drive, then you can execute from it. The prerequisite installer configures the specified roles, download the prerequisite softwares from Microsoft website, and installs them automatically. Here, I select my network drive, then open the SharePoint CD contents and run the prerequisite installer tool. Now accept the license and press next you can clearly see that the prerequisite softwares are downloaded one by one and installed automatically. The required prerequisite softwares are installed successfully. Now press finish. Now I run the SharePoint setup, a wizard opens, in that provide your product key. Then accept the license agreement. Choose your installation, here my requirement is to create a server farm, consisting of multiple SharePoint servers, so I select server farm. Now carefully select your server type, here I select complete, to install all components and Add servers to form a SharePoint server farm. In the file location tab, you can choose the product installation path and search index file path. Here, I use the default settings. Press install now to install SharePoint server 2010. Now the installation is in progress and it takes some time to complete. During the final stage of the installation, updates are applied. At the end of the installation, check this option to run the SharePoint products wizard and complete the configuration of your SharePoint server. Here, I check this option and press close. As a result, SharePoint products wizard appears. Here I press next to continue. As a result, a message box appears showing specified services will restart. If I press yes to apply the configuration, I press yes. Choose whether you require to connect to an existing server farm or create a new server farm. Here, I select create a new server farm. For configuring the database settings, 
provide the database server name and database name. In the database access settings, provide the user credentials to connect to the configuration database. Here, I provide the domain administrator credentials. In the farm security settings, provide the passphrase and confirm the passphrase, which is used to secure the farm and is required for each server to join the farm. Specify the port number and authentication settings for your SharePoint Central Administration web application. Here, I specify the port number as 81 and authentication as NTLM. In this page, view the summary of your configuration settings and press Next. Now please wait while the SharePoint products are configured and it will take some time to complete. Finally press Finish to complete the configuration settings. As a result the central administration web page appears, which confirms the completion of SharePoint Server installation. We hope that this training session on the installation of SharePoint Server made your task simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to install SharePoint Server 2010. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can check out how to perform content search using social tagging and notes in SharePoint 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.